walking. So here, you can open your legs, open your arms and close your eyes and simply connect to yourself. Hearing my voice. I'll just bring you into awareness. Your yin practice will have long, slow holes. And while the music is going in the background and I'm talking to you, there may be moments of silence, but I am still fully present with you as you hold space. I love to begin the yin class in starfish with the arms open, palms face up and the legs open, just settling into your body and surrender to your mat. Let your heart open, your palms open, creating an intention of receiving. Open and receptive to the healing, the love, the light, and all the good things coming your way. Creating a cycle of breath with your inhales and your exhales slow and steady. And from this position, whether your eyes are open or closed is fine. Simply bend your knees to butterfly so the bottoms of your feet touch, big toe to big toe, Heel to heel. And invite gravity in as your partner. Although yin yoga is not partner yoga, I definitely like to think of gravity as being the partner creating the holds in my body. Gravity gently pressing the knees down and letting your hips open. Peeling away at layers of your day. Any tightness that might be in your hips. And even the gentle opening of the shoulders with your arms open and your palms face up. Take your left hand and place it on your heart, your right hand on your lower belly. Slow, steady breaths. Acknowledging that sometimes with your yin practice, there'll be a moment in the breath where there's some discomfort in the body. And you can send your breath to whatever you're feeling and where you are feeling it. Using this time to deeply connect to yourself, heart, your mind, really luxuriating in what you're feeling and where you are feeling it. Keeping your 
feet in butterfly, gently use your elbows to sit up. Soles of your feet pressing together. Make a gentle adjustment with your hips. Inhale your arms up. Tuck your chin and gently roll forward, still in butterfly. Let your head dangle. Maybe gently turn your head right and left. Oh, what you call your head? Lengthen your breath and allow your head to rest wherever it is. Feel your back expand as you lengthen your breath. And your stomach contract as you exhale. You need a change over when you make that change then the world will elevate you. And if I told you then that I could cry, when you take my tears and watch the sun rise, I'm not afraid. There's no shame. So when you take those tears, don't look to see I'm alright. Gently roll yourself into an upright position, sitting when you up. Take those tears, don't look to see I'm alright. Place your right hand on the floor next to your mat. Maybe two inches away from your hips. And reach your left arm up and over. Gently looking past your left shoulder towards your ceiling. Keep the left hip down. You can rest your hand behind your head and just feel the stretch along the left side of your body.
think of your thoughts draining from your brain, falling to your mat. Feeling your back rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. gentle gaze forward or towards the tip of your nose. Walk your hands back so they're under your shoulder and straighten your arms creating a lift. Your hips, depending on the flexibility, may still be on the floor. A gentle gaze forward and up with the eyes. We'll take a few more breaths here. Child's pose. 
walking your arms forward and your hips back to your heels. Rest your forehead on your mat. Slow, steady breaths, feeling your breath expand into the back, into your lower back, into your hips. Pick your head up slightly. Take your left arm and slide it palm face up under the right. And turn your head to the right, looking slightly under your arm. Feeling that stretch, the shoulder. You might feel it a bit in the back, in the hips. Breathe. Acknowledging how it feels on this side, knowing that what we do on the right, we will do on the left. And sometimes one side of your body might feel different. Acknowledge that without judgment. just at that point when you're in a practice and it feels like a hold or an asana will never end to lean into my breath slide that left arm out stretch it forward turn your head to the left and slide your right arm under Palm face up, right ear on your mat, breathe. Keep lengthening your breaths. Within the yin practice, sometimes there are, there's a moment of when is the practice going to start. You are here, releasing from your fascia, from your connective tissues.
Lift your head, slide your right arm out, stretch it forward. Come to all fours. Bring your knees in a little closer. Just a few gentle cat and cows. Inhale, look up, press your hips up. Exhale, curl in on yourself, pushing your belly button up to the ceiling, chin to chest. Inhale, push your belly down, lift the head and hips up. Exhale, curl in on yourself. Pushing all the air out, empty lungs. And let's do a few more with your own cycle of breath. Only moving as fast or as slow as you inhale and exhale. Two more.
walk your hands back so they're under your shoulders and straighten yeah. your arms again. Bring your head up. Yeah. Gently lean to your right side and swing your left yeah. leg around. Double pigeon. You can flex your feet if it's available to you. Bring the left foot on top of the right knee. Both feet actively flexed. Sit up straight. And one knee might be considerably higher than the other. But you can reach your arms up, tuck your chin, and fold. If that's too intense, you might be a little bit more upright. But if it's available, you can rest your hands and fold forward. Just a few more breaths. Walk your hands back so they're under your shoulders. 
Straighten your arms. Keep your hips as they are. Really slow transition. Lean to the left. Swing your right leg around. Double pigeon. Flex your feet. Rest that right foot on top of the left knee. My knee is pretty far away. Sometimes if you have a block, you can use a block as well. Find your stability. Arms up, chin to chest, exhale, fold. Again, totally fine if you remain seated, sitting upright. But if it's available to you, lean into yourself and let gravity as your partner create opening in your body. your arms up in between your legs to grab the outside of your feet. Press the hips down. Shoulders down. You can even wrap your arms in between the legs and grab your heels and press down a little more. Hug both knees into your chest. Straighten your left leg to the floor. Supine twist. Bring your right knee over to the left side of your body. Straighten your right arm out and look over your right shoulder. You can have your hand on your right knee or your leg, but simply let gravity pull it down. Slow, steady breaths. Come back through center. Hug both knees in. Straighten your right leg. Bring your left knee over to the right side of your body. Turn your head and look over your left shoulder. center. 
One more butterfly, bottoms of your feet together, left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly. Savasana. Open your legs, open your arms, close your eyes. Take a moment to yourself here at the tail end of your practice. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. Take another deep breath in. Exhale. Take one last deep breath in. Hold it in, hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. Exhale, sigh it out, refreshing your body. to your right side, curl into a small ball, resting your head on your right arm. Tilt your chin down, gentle gaze at your fingers. Bring your thumbs to your lips. Bring your thumbs to your forehead. Bring your thumbs to your heart. I bow to you. The divinity within me acknowledges the divinity within you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing space with me today. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.